Hey guys, I just get out of the Sydney premiere of A Star Is Born. I've been listening to this soundtrack for over a week now. I was super pumped, really excited. Did it live up to Draz's expectations? You gotta find out, coming up next. So where do I begin? Uh, this is Bradley Cooper's directorial debut. So a lot was at stake here. And Brad, you friggin' killed it, my friend. Great casting. The chemistry between Ali and Jackson Maine, Bradley and Lady Gaga's character, is a million percent believable. It was, wow, like it blows my mind and I'm getting goosebumps thinking about all the performances and all the music throughout the film when, you know, Ali and Jackson were singing together and separately. It was just phenomenal. It really was like Bradley Cooper, man, I didn't know you could sing and you freaking kill it. You nail it on the head. He could literally release an album and he would slaughter it. Lady Gaga, straight from the stratosphere, she is just absolutely phenomenal. And with her previous work on American Horror Story to being a leading lady in a movie like this, uh, ding, 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 this has to be an Oscar-worthy performance for Lady Gaga, for Bradley Cooper, for his directorial debut. A Star Is Born has to win these Oscars because this is such a beautiful movie. It is romance, it is pain and suffering, it is music, it is just everything. You can all these type of emotions rolled into one movie, and it takes you on this beautiful roller coaster ride. Jackson Maine, he goes to a club after one of his gigs. You know, he takes alcohol, he takes drugs. He's got that demon on his back. But once he goes in the club and sees Ali up on the stage, Lady Gaga's character instantly falls in love. And it's just beautiful to see that unfold throughout it. And Ali's progression of being this, you know, positive type of singer who would only go into dingy type of clubs and build a heart out. But she never got a chance to go up on the stage because she was ridiculed by music producers saying she wasn't beautiful enough. And she didn't have everything. She's got great voice, she's got great music, but she didn't have the look. Full of emotions, you know, the whole entire audience. You leave with a smile and you leave with tears flowing down your face. You know, I had to hold back the tears. My wife was crying next to me. Like people were up on their seats applauding at the end of this film. And they had every right to because A Star Is Born was absolutely phenomenal. And you know, I'm the type of person who likes nothing but highs and I hate lows in films. But every high worked with the lows and everything worked together. And you know, I can't shake some of the scenes. I don't think I'll ever be able to shake some of them. But I'm gonna go back and listen to the soundtrack. I will watch this again. I will highly recommend this to everyone out there. Please go see A Star Is Born. Remember to subscribe below to the Movie Nerds channel. Hit the like, hit the comments, let us know how you feel. Hit us up on Instagram as well, at Movie Nerds and on all social platforms. But anyway guys, till next time, I'm Draz, and all of us boys will see you at the movies. Peace.